Hi my friends and viewers and uh, here what we're going to do on this truck today is uh, we're going to replace the uh, the uh, back lighting for the gauges or instrument cluster on this 2000 Ford F350 Power Stroke. Um, this will also be applicable to uh, any of the F250, F350s with uh, this dash design. I don't know what all yours has the same. You can look it up or whatever, it don't really matter. Um, just a brief rundown. Um, you'll have to take your factory radio out. This one uh, doesn't have a factory, it already has, it just has an aftermarket. I already took that piece of crap out to put my own uh, MP3 head unit in there. You're going to need to unhook that. And uh, when you pull all, all this bezel off, um, there's going to be a connector here for the uh, uh, cigarette lighter. And um, you know, if you got the four-wheel drive selector, you're gonna have one there. And also got connectors here that are gonna have to be taken off. And anything else that you've wired up. And also, if you have a uh, airbag uh, shut-off connector or whatever there for the passenger side, or switch rather to cut the airbag off, then you'll have to unhook that as well. So let's go ahead and get started with this first thing. Want to pull this programmer pedestal off? Lay that to the side. In the uh, first step, pry this off. Just make it a little easier to get to everything else. Basically, that's the kind of effort that you got to use to get the uh, cover off here. And yeah, your air conditioner controls, they'll stay put. You know, it doesn't require any excessive force or anything crazy, so you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to worry about not breaking this. Um, so see, I mean, you got connectors that are going to have to be disconnected in order to actually completely pull this off so I'm gonna go ahead and unhook all that and pull this uh, off and I'll be back with you in a second okay so here's what you're left with um, there are dummy plugs for the non-existent stuff like the uh, full drive connector and the uh, airbag switch don't be shy just pull them out Okay, the uh, next step to getting the instrument cluster out, she so got uh, looks like four seven millimeter screws. One's right there, one's right there, one's there, and the other one's there. So, all four corners, take those out. Alright, now that we got that off, the next thing we're going to need to do is take the uh, shifter indicator out of the instrument cluster. You don't get much room to work to do this. I'll try my best to show you. Um, That's the bottom of the unit we're looking at here, and you can see, well, there you go, right here, we're gonna, well, there's, there's a clip on each side of this that you have to squeeze together and pull that thing down out of there. Um, I'm going to try to set the ca camera somewhere and do that, but I doubt, seriously, that I ain't gonna be able to get anywhere with that. There we go. And 
and it came out like so. And just bring this thing around. Um, for what I'm doing, I'm actually just going to leave all this hooked up because we're just going to change some bulbs here. So, anyway, I'm going to uh, put some new LED bulbs in this and get it all put back together. And I'll make a video of the uh, reassembly. Um, it really is probably going to be difficult to get the uh, shift indicator back in there. That looks like that might suck a little. But, anyway, here we go. So there's really not much to see, but I got it all put back together. Got uh, my head unit in and the uh, junkie went out. Um... kind of hard to see in the camera but um I put uh, blue lights in the back of that but because the uh, dash is color the back lighting portion is colored green on the gauge indicators or how, whatever you want to call that um, it's still showing green now on another one that I did this on on a 97 um, it didn't actually matter it still showed the blue anyway but on this one apparently it does matter but well, that's okay. Um, if I really want it to work out, I could scrape the coloring off the back like I've seen in other instructions. So, but I'm not worried about that today. Um, the other thing to do is uh, glue this uh, programmer there to the dash because it was uh, using those Velcro pads, and uh, I just don't like that. I just want to go ahead and JB weld it on there, <laughs> and uh, I did uh, paint the uh, the basil here just a uh, pretty. Uh, matte black uh, looks really good I think but anyway and as always praise the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I hope we richly bless and guide you all have yourselves a great day take care